Yes, but why does your aunt call you her uncle? From little Cecily with her fondest love to her dear Uncle Jack. There is no objection, I admit, to an aunt being a small aunt. But why an aunt, no matter what her side may be, should call her own nephew her uncle, I can't quite make out. Besides, your name isn't Jack at all, it is Ernest. It isn't Ernest, it's Jack. You have always told me it was Ernest. I have introduced you to any, everyone as Ernest. You answer to the name of Ernest. You look as if your name was Ernest. You are the most earnest looking person I ever saw in my life. It is perfectly absurd you're saying your name isn't Ernest. It's on your cards. Here's one of them. Mr. Ernest Worthing, B4, The Albany. I'll keep this as a proof your name is Ernest if ever you attempt to deny it to me, or to Gwendolyn, or to anyone else. My name is Ernest in town, and Jack in the country, and my cigarette case was given to me in the country. Yes, but that does not account for the fact that your small Aunt Cecily calls you her dear uncle. Come, old boy, you had much better have the thing out at once. My dear fellow, you talk exactly as if you were a dentist. It is very vulgar to talk like a dentist when one isn't a dentist. It gives a, a false impression. Well, that is exactly what dentists always do. Now go on. Tell me the whole thing. I may mention that I have always suspected you of being a confirmed and secret Bunburyist. 